M0FXB. Welcome to my channel. So it looks like the Radio Oddity GD88 firmware has finally been released. So I will put the link in the description. We'll give this one a go. Now it they are listing what it does. It says here, now it is possible to stay in the radio menu even on incoming call. Talker alias has been implemented. That's a big one, I think. Really could do with Talker alias because then you won't have to have the CSV file and it will display the contacts. It also says the updated CPS no longer crashes and has a resolution here of 1080, 1920. And of course does support pilot tones. Uh, extended men manual for radiology is also been updated and it's saying that the CP editor by David, MM7DBT and its newest version will also support it and I think that's a, a user-friendly code plug programmer. So release note, uh, CPS 3.3 DMR, uh, radiology. So all I'm going to do, I'll do a separate video on this. Uh, loading it, it's showing here how the radio all supports tones. It's got these tones here. What I'd like to see is DTMF. That'll be nice. Time of call label now displayed in English. After changing a contact call type, private call to group call is now possible again to change it back to private. If a menu had been selected and a call comes in, the menu remains selected and navigation within the menu is still possible. That's quite good. Talk alias, tones. And firmware. So okay, well, let's um, do a video loading this firmware. And I've actually got the Kydera 880, so fingers crossed it will go on. But for the GD88 purchasers, um, the other one that would have been good that we need is something a way of lowering the volume so we can get the volume a bit lower than it goes at the moment because it's just a tad too high. 7.3, thanks for watching my channel. And please like and subscribe if you find it interesting. And the link for the firmware will be in the description. Bye for now.